Coach Eberflus talked today about making changes on the offensive and defensive lines for the final two games. He said obviously the team has a lot of injuries, so the options are limited, but he mentioned specifically trying Justin Jones outside at defensive end more. I'm not sure what that means at defensive tackle. Our newest D-tackle, Andrew Brown, the athletic young guy we signed a few weeks ago, has been getting more reps on the inside. Maybe he sees a big boost in snap count going forward. Moving Justin Jones might be a sign that the team isn't happy with his play at the three-tech position, though. The three-tech defensive tackle in this defense is arguably the single most important position. Pohl's first move was aimed at addressing this position when he struck an early deal with Larry Ogunjobi. That deal fell through due to a failed physical, and Poles quickly rebounded and signed Justin Jones to fill the position. I don't think Jones has been bad, but he hasn't been the difference maker needed at 3-Tech, which is the reason why it's probably our biggest need heading into the offseason. I have you guys covered on that as well. I will be releasing my first big free agency positional preview on Sunday to ring in the new year. After the Lions game, look out for my defensive tackle free agency preview. I'll go over what guys could potentially come in and be our new three tech. The draft isn't the only way to get better. The Bears also made a small roster move, bringing back corner Greg Stroman Jr. to the practice squad. He was with the team for training camp and preseason, but missed most of his time with injuries. Welcome back, Greg. And then with Eberflus talking about potential changes these last two weeks, there is one thing that I expect to see. It's more Dieter. I have an all-22 breakdown on Dieter Iceland releasing tonight. Keep an eye out for that. But I think he definitely earned more playing time. It's possible he could get the start at guard this weekend or maybe even replace Mustafer for a few series. I can dream, right? And then lastly, I know Alex Leatherwood's snap count fell off last week, but a lot of that had to do with the uncertainty inside at guard. I think Leatherwood will get more reps over the final two games. If it's not at right tackle, it could possibly even come inside at guard. I'm really hoping Chase Claypool comes back this week. Stay tuned for the injury report that will be out in just a couple of hours. Remember to hit that like button for me, and until next time, Bear down.